Good evening, everyone. Hi, Agita. Hi. It, um, there is something white on your right hand side, and it looks like a parrot. I always think it's a parrot sitting. Yeah, it's just a stretch. So, no, the, the white thing on the right on your right hand side isn't that? It looks like a the white. There's a white <laughs> thing on, on the right side. It's just a wallpaper. It's a statue. Yeah. Ah, parrot. you're right. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. How's everyone? Good. Good. Shall we start with uh, what do you want to start with? Summarize spoken text, summarize written text. Uh, what what do you think we should start with? Let's just any any uh, first I'll ask you, and then whatever that gets the highest vote, we'll start with that one. So I'll start with Alicia. Alicia, what do you think we should start with? Summarize the spoken text, the first part of um, listening. Summarize spoken text. Okay, so everyone agrees? Yes? All right, good. So let's get started. I'm gonna share. By the way, this is the last session uh, before the Easter holiday. So we, we are we go into hibernation for two weeks and during the hibernation, we eat a lot of chocolate and, uh, you know, lots of fun. Okay. Now. So here is the summarized spoken text. Now, in the summarized spoken text, we use the same template as we use for retail lecture. I'm going to play you a video. And then, so Yagita, do you know how to do um, summarize the spoken text? Yagita? I think we did it, but I'm not sure. So you know, you, you have the template or not? You have the template, do you know what to do? I think I had summarized written test. Template, no, but that's whereas the underlying principles, blah 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 blah. Okay, so we can we can do that if you like. We can do that. Have you memorized it, Yogita? Have you memorized no. the template? No. Okay. Alicia, have you memorized it? I think I don't have that template. Alicia, you're chewing gum. <laughs> um, I only memorized the summarized essay, but the rest, um, just still working on it. Okay, I know uh, Mayuko has memorized everything there, right? Am I right? Uh, yes. Good. There mm -hmm. we go. Okay, so we're, we're going to start with summarizer spoken text. I'm going to play you a video, a short video, and then after that, we do the summarizer spoken text just to uh, refresh your mind on what's, what you need to do in summarizer spoken text. Okay, so where is it? Uh, let's see. So let's get started with the first section of the listening module, Summarize Spoken Text. You get one or two Summarize the Spoken Text in the beginning of your listening section. You don't have to worry about your time because you are given 10 minutes for each Summarize the Spoken Text. In the Summarize the Spoken Text, you will listen to an audio or watch a video on a particular topic. Pavlov, a noted Russian scientist, won the Nobel Prize. Listening has taken place. Once the audio or the video is finished, you will have around eight minutes to summarize what you have heard or watched into 50 to 70 words. Remember, some students confuse this section 
with that of the summarized written text in the writing module. And they try to summarize it into one sentence. Do not make this mistake. In summarized spoken text, you can write as many sentences as long as it is not less than 50 and more than 70 words. Your time will be 10 minutes from the start of the audio track. Usually an audio or video track will be around two minutes long. So you would have around eight minutes left to type your summary, which is between 50 to 70 words in the space provided. If you finish before your 10 minutes is up, the remaining time will not roll over to the next section or will not be added to the rest of your listening section. Once all the summarized spoken texts are done, your listening time starts to count down. This means you need to manage your time to leave enough time for your write from dictation, which is at the end of your listening section. By the way, in summarized spoken text and in essay writing and summarized written text, once you have less than five minutes, your time turns red, as you can see here. Summarize the spoken text strategies. Memorize the summarized spoken text template by typing it. You can download the template from the download section. Number two, while you are listening to the track, note down as many words, numbers, names, and phrases as you can. Basically write down anything you hear and write it in a way so that you would be able to read it later. Practice makes perfect as the saying goes for this section. Number three, if you do not know how to spell a particular word, write it in your mother tongue. The point of noting down is to keep a record of what has been said. You will have some time to think about the spellings later when you are about to type your summary. Number four, do not type complex sentences. Try to write short, simple sentences that you are 100% sure of its grammar. So now I will do a couple of samples for you. There's a lot of dinosaurs now. There's, there's over 1,500 species that have been found, and people are finding new ones all the time. Uh, it's really an incredible moment that we're all in right now because somewhere around the world right now, somebody's finding a new species of dinosaur, on average, about once a week. So we're getting about 50 new species a year. This is the golden age, and they're coming from everywhere. China, of course, as we'll talk about, but every continent dinosaurs are found on, and we're even finding them up in Scotland. <laughs> So there are so many species. There are lots of classification schemes. These are the things that a lot of young kids memorize and a lot of people like to argue about. But the, the really, to me, the most important divisions of dinosaurs, there's three main groups. There's the long neck ones like Brontosaurus. We call those the sauropod dinosaurs. There are the plant eaters with beaks. These are what we call the Ornithischian dinosaurs, so things like Triceratops and Stegosaurus. And then there's the theropod dinosaurs, the meat eaters. So I'll start with the topic of the lecture was dinosaurs. The speaker talked about 1500 species. Every year, 50 new species of dinosaurs are found around the world. The speaker also went on and talked about classification schemes. He divided the dinosaurs into three groups.
the long neck ones, plant eaters, and meat eaters. Finally, the speaker highlighted the following points. So here is where you can type whatever remained from the other sections that you didn't have a sentence for, just the sporadic ones, you don't have to make sense. Uh, China, Scotland, young kids, and beaks. All right, I'm going to play you uh, a summarized spoken text. Try to write as many uh, words as you can, and then you start typing it and send it over via the chat box. OK, let's go. How about number 55 or oh, 44? Talent is premium and there is a war for talents in 1990s because of the talent shortage. Companies and countries are recruiting young talented people from different countries and sending young people to universities. Some young people immigrated after they graduated from the university. They compete with local students. Countries and organizations should put talents at the primary positions. The collapse of loyalty makes employees happy to change their workplace for higher income. There are three reasons. First, the change of nature of economy leads to increase in the talent's demand and skills needed. Second, the shrinking labor force after the baby boom causes less supply of skilled workers and the retirement of baby boomers will cause a shortage of experienced workers. Third, there is also a mismatch between what schools are producing and what companies need.
Okay, very good. My echo sent it over. So you still got three, four minutes. You can use this time to read it again. Check the check out the um, punctuation, the spellings, you know. But if you go next, that time wouldn't be saved. Number one, number two. Um, you cannot go back. So I would suggest that you read it. Take at least um, because you you cannot take a break. Just take one minute break for your you know. Just your memory, refresh your memory. That's it. But that's good. Very good. All right, here comes Alicia, I guess. Now oh, that's your guitar. Mm -hmm. So, your guitar. The topic of the lecture was talent. Okay. You see, this is a grammatical mistake. Uh, now the computer says, what? What? was and is in the same sentence come on and the computer says this sentence is wrong now there are two ways you can put this right number one you can put talent is premium into inverted commas between inverted commas okay this way the computer knows that these two are you know in inverted commas number two you can say the topic of the lecture was talent that's it the next sentence the speaker talked about the fact that talent is premium. Okay, like this. So I'll finish uh, your guitars. The speaker talked about the shortage of young talent. Very good. I want short sentences. Don't write uh, long sentences. The speaker also went on and talked about immigrated talent. Finally, comma, finally, comma. Uh, the speaker highlighted the following points, okay? So you do not highlight something about, you highlight something. So yep. the speaker highlighted the following points. Companies complete with talent. The collapse, very good. Higher income, skill needed. Retirement of baby booms and mismatch of skills. Very good. Excellent. So after finally, you don't have to make steps. Just put them in the comma, 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 and that's uh, content for your. Okay. Thank you. That was good. Now, I don't know how many words. Okay, but because I cannot copy, you know that. That is an interesting problem I have. Even if I do um, see. Control C. Now, here, I'm sure it will type box seal. There we go. Why did I tell you? Why did I tell you? Okay. So, Mayuko, topic of the lecture was Mayuko. You're, you've done the same. Are you copying each other? Are you copying each other? I think we all three did the same mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so, the topic of lecture was talent. The speaker talked about sh shortage in 1990. The speaker also went on and talked about young generations sent to university. Very good. For universities, finally. The speaker highlighted the following points. Very good. I like this semicolon here. Good. Semicolon. Graduating from university compared with local people. Good. Uh, he said compete with local. Com compete. D-O-M-P-E-T-E. -E -E. Okay. Local people. Higher income, increasing talent, very good baby boom, higher education, and countries need. Very good. Excellent. And Alicia's. The topic of the lecture was talent. You don't need about, but you can. You, yeah, the topic of the lecture was about talent. That's fine. Yeah. The speaker talked about the shortage of talents. The speaker also went, also went on, also went on and talked about companies re recruiting young students who are fresh graduates. Very good. Finally, the speaker highlighted the following points. So the following points, semicolon, compete, compete with local talents. Very good. Change in talents, demand, mismatch of what company needs. Very good. Baby boomers and 
retirement. Very good. Excellent. There we are. Um, Any questions? Can I get the template, please? Yeah. I don't have yeah, sure. It's the same as a retail lecture. I'm gonna show it to you. I don't have both. <laughs> Okay. You have a book. Is the baby doing a fine? He's okay? Yeah, now he's doing yeah, fine. Good. Yes. So here's here's the um you can take a photo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, okay. Sorry. Ah, it's all right. So the speaker highlighted the following points. Here you need the semicolon and then bang, 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 bang the rest. You want one more or do you think it's enough? Yes, Alicia? Uh, maybe one more. Um, Mayuko? Mayuko says, let's go home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, another one, okay, another one. Okay, go please. Are you ready? Let's go. So this time we go 144. <clears throat> For many people, language acquisition starts at around about 12 months when kids say their first word, but don't forget the first year. That first year of life is very important as well. And indeed, before you're born, remember, there are a couple of months before you're born when you're actually able to perceive in the womb something of the language that's around you. So language acquisition starts earlier than most people think. And it also ends later than most people think. When does child language acquisition stop? Well, in a sense, you know, we're, we're all children. We're, we stay being children all our lives. There, there's, there's no obvious end point. For, for learning sounds, of course, there is, and for learning grammar, there is, but vocabulary, oh, I mean, that goes on for the rest of our lives. A million or more words in English, and most of us only have a vocabulary of 50, 60, 70,000 words, or whatever it is, and so there's always something more to learn. So remember that the two ends of child language acquisition are wider apart than some people think. And that means there's more scope for studying it than most people think.
Very good, my info. Still have three minutes to go. So, yeah, almost four minutes. Very good, everyone sent uh, before even the time is over. Very good. Okay, let's start with my new code. The topic of the lecture was baby, okay? It was actually language, but that's fine. The speaker talked about 12 month child. Very good, 12 month child. You don't need that apostrophe. The speaker also went on and talked about language was the most important. Okay, you see, the, the speaker went on and talked about the fact, the fact that. So went on and talked about the fact that language was the most important. So this makes sense now. But remember the fact that, if you just add the fact that, the sentence is grammatically fine. Finally, the speaker highlighted the following points. Don't forget most important things, our lives, grammar, vocabulary, remembering good, study, studying and children language, children's language, and how to remember. Very good. These are all um, content words. So remember the fact that he talked about the fact that, and then you can add another sentence to it. Okay. Very good, I, um, Alicia. Loving a lecture was language acquisition. Excellent. It was about language acquisition. Acquisition here means learning. Very good. The speaker talked about language acquisition. Okay, you too, uh, Alicia. The speaker talked about the fact that language acquisition starts early in life. That's it. Now it makes sense, but grammatically it doesn't make sense if you write the speaker talked about language acquisition start because this is past, talked about past, the computer gets, uh, the software gets confused. So talked about the fact, now you start another sentence within another sentence, so. The speaker also went on and talked about the first year of life. So the speaker went on and talked about the fact that the first year of life is or was very important. Finally, the speaker highlighted the following points. People stay younger for the, for the rest of their lives, 50, 70,000 words, and children acquisition are longer, very good, larger. Excellent. And Yagitas. The topic of the lecture was language acquisition. That's accusation. That someone is a thief, you say, you accuse that person of being a thief, and that's an accusation. Okay, so yes, spelling accusation. Very good. That's the problem if you know a lot of words. Okay. <laughs> the speaker talked about first of the child. Okay. First year. First year of the child. Okay, that's fine. The speaker also went on and talked about able to perceive. Okay. The speaker went on and talked about the fact that children are able to perceive. I was like, Finally, uh, I was mm -hmm, asking yes. about ability. Can I use that ability to perceive or able? To yes, perceive? yes. So the speaker also went on and talked about the fact or about the ability. Ability to, to very good. Yeah. You don't need the fact. Then. Finally, yeah. the speaker highlighted the following points. Tama, semicolon, no obvious end point, grammar million or more, 
wider part and scope of study. That's good, very good. Excellent. All right. So now we've taken care of summarized spoken text. Now we can start with, how about speaking? Hmm? We haven't done read aloud for a long, long, long time. Okay, so we're gonna do it now. Um, the first one, everyone. The tsunami could provide crucial information about the habit habitability of ancient Mars. The first one occurred when the planet must have been relatively warm and amenable for life because it carved out backwash channels as it returned to the sea. By con contrast, the planet had become much cooler by the time the second tsunami hit. The waters apparently fresh froze after flowing onto the surface. After flowing onto the surface. Okay, you finished here, okay? I um, want you to do a bit fast. Okay, now we do individually and, okay, Alicia, we'll start with you. Trade unions originated in Europe during the Industrial Revolution because of the machinery that had be became commonplace. Skilled labor became less in demand, so employers had nearly all of the bargaining power. Employers mistreated the workers and paid them too little for the work they did. Trade unions were organized that would help in the improvement of working conditions. Very good. Half time. There we go. Excellent. Next time, it's Mayukos. Other country might process a sizable rate of population, but have economic system in which in the interests of the voters are related to their incomes, not to their occupations or location. And in such a country, the political system would be unlikely to include an important agitation party. Okay, you finished here. I want you to finish here. Good. Okay, a little bit faster. And don't care about your pronunciation. Okay, your guitar.
A concussion is a traumatic brain injury that alters the way a person's brain functions. Their effects are usually temporary, but they can conclude headaches and problems with your memory balance and coordination. They often occur from a blow to the head, but they can also happen from a strike anywhere as due to the head and upper body being violently shaken from the force. Very good here. Excellent. Fantastic. Okay, another one. Um, Alicia? Starting with argumented reality Facebook, they, they, they view a new platform called Creative Effects that layers virtual art and messages with real life experiences can be triggered by objects detected in your camera as well as your exact location movements or data pulled from our other apps. All right, Tracia, good. A little bit faster. I noticed that you repeated yourself, you know, don't. nobody's listening to you, okay? There you go. A condition called uh, where the eyes cannot focus properly is seen uh, much more frequency in children who spend more time inside. Not only are you constantly focused to focus on nearby objects as opposed to far off in the landscapes and distances. But scientists believe that the sun itself may actually play a role in healthy eyes regulation. Good, finished here, okay. Now, I noticed you repeated the word twice, okay? Don't, don't do that, all right? May, Mayuko? Mayuko, how do you pronounce, how do you pronounce your surname? Uh, Abe? Ah. So Shinzo Abe is your uncle? No. The prime minister? It's different Chinese <laughs> letters. So I want to teach you a word and you will, you will not forget this word for the rest of your life, okay? So Abe, in Persian, in my language, Abe means it's water. Oh. <laughs> okay, so now you know a Persian word. So Abe means water. So somebody asks, what, what's that? Say Abe. <laughs> It's water. It's water. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next. It's a guitar. The second most common cause of fatigue comes from lack of physical activities and a poor diet. Study finds that adults who begin light exercise a few times a week reported more energy after six weeks. People who exercise more regularly also report sleeping better, even though studies show that they aren't sleeping any longer. Excellent. So you see, you will get, I promise, you will get 90 for your oral fluency. And if you have a good repeat sentence, 90 for your speaking, which I'm sure you will. Okay. Now. Um, I'm not gonna, sure. I'm sorry? I said I'm not sure, actually. I am sure, okay? You don't need okay, to be sure. I am you. sure. I've seen a lot of students, and you are one of them that will easily get 90 each. 90 thank each. You. All right, now. Um, okay, we're going to do some repeat sentence. Are you ready? So yes. each, each person, each student does um, five in a row. All right, we start with 
Let me start with you because your microphone is open, Davita. Okay. Eating too much can lead to many health problems. Eating too much can lead to many health problems. Good. Remember here, you don't have to go fast, just a little bit slower, and that's your pronunciation. Good. Next one. The timetable will be posted on the website before the class starts. The timetable will be posted on the before the class starts. Website. On the website. The university welcomes postgraduate students from all over the world. The university welcomes postgraduate students from all over the world. Very good. His plan combines a particular feature of the earlier proposals. This can combine of the earlier feature of the earlier part. Okay. That tells me that you're not writing, okay? No, I was trying to write. Yes, okay. All right. His plan combines. That tells me that you're not writing. <laughs> and it's got 26% 26% similarity means my pronunciation is now 26. Okay. Next one. The last one. That's the last one. That's the last one for mommy. If you have any questions, you can ask Jenny Bryce. If you have any questions, you can ask Jenny Bryce. Excellent. Very good. Next one, Alicia. The guest lecturer has a speech tonight at 8 p.m. The guest lecturer has a speech tonight at 8 p.m. Very good. The current statistical evidence indicates the need for further research. The guest I the guest lecturer has a speech at 8 p.m. tonight. <laughs> you were reading, you were reading the previous one. Are you writing, Alicia? Yes, but um just the letters and then okay. I forgot what it means. The current statistical evidence indicates the need for further research. Next. <clears throat> Social media is criticized for causing internet addiction. Social media is criticized for social addiction. Okay. Social media is criticized for causing internet addiction. Okay, next one. Most students are not eligible to claim housing benefit. Most students are not eligible for housing benefits. Very good, to claim housing benefits. The last one. Our fundamental realities, especially national needs, have seen the ability to flourish. Our fundamental is especially what? <laughs> Seem to be flourish. Very good. Seem to be flourish. Yeah. 
Our fundamental realities, especially national needs, have seen the ability to flourish. <clears throat> All right, may you cop, please. If you study nutrition, you'll look at various aspects of science. If you study nutrition, you look at various aspects of science. This university has a wide range of facilities. This, this university has wide range of facilities. Very good. Wait for the recorder. Excellent. The logbook makes up only 10% of your total marks. The books marks 10% of your mark. Mark. The log books. The log book makes up 10% of your The log book makes up only 10% of your total marks. Only 10%. The artist's early work was a goodbye. And the artist's early work was good goodbye. Excellent. Was it goodbye or hello? Good goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. Yes. Okay. The last one. The meeting has some struggling overlaps. The meeting has struggle overlaps. Very good. Back to Yagita. Money and fame affect the world. Money and fame affect the world. Very good. The lecture on child psychology has been postponed until Friday. The lecture on child sociology has been postponed until Friday. Very good. The technician left the new microscope in the biology lab. The, le the technician left the new microscope in the biology lab. Very good. Wind power is more acceptable now than a decade ago. Wind powers are more acceptable now than the decade ago. Excellent, very good. And the last one. Becoming a good actor requires persistence and motivation. Becoming a good actor requires persistence and motivation. Fantastic. Fantastic. Excellent. Next is uh, Alicia. <laughs> Uh, by the way, um, I had a student, um, she, when I started teaching uh, 
PTE because before that I was teaching IELTS. So she came to me um, when I started teaching PTE. So she came to me and she said that she had done IELTS um, maybe 10 times and she didn't get especially the writing uh, score. I told her, I forgot her name, oh my goodness. She was from Greece, she was Greek. Uh, I told her that you're gonna get um, at least 79 all or above. She said, uh, uh, I don't think so. No. Oh, but anyway, thank you, thank you for your kind. Anyway, I, had, I was publishing a book at the time I was my, my first book on PT and I gave a copy to her because I, at that time it wasn't, I didn't print it. It was, I gave, it, I gave her a copy to do the reading section and I didn't see her. She went, she went away and I didn't see her for, she came, she, she had all the classes. I didn't see her. One day a gentleman came in and he's, he was from Greece. He was, he was Greek and he said, um, she mentioned her name. I, f I have forgotten the name. I said, uh, and said, she told me to go to you for getting my PTE because I've done IELTS. And uh, I said, oh, who, who's that lady? And, she, uh, and then I remember, uh, um, remembered her. I said, what happened to her? What happened to uh, her score? Uh, he said, she got all 90, four 90s. And I said, but she didn't tell me. She didn't even tell me. She didn't even text me that I got my score. Ah, oh, she, she was very busy with her uh, visa and getting, you know, she got her uh, permanent residency. Anyway, so one day she called me and she said, oh, I forgot that uh, and I will come to you. So oh, that's fine. I just wanted to know, I, I will see, because I, for, I completely forgot about her. And I asked her to do a review on my website. She did a review on my website um, she used her husband's name, which was English. Uh, her husband was English, so she used under her, I mean, uh, his name. So anyway, um, it is um, after some times when you are in this business, somebody comes and talks to you, you know what score they're going to get, okay? And how you practice, that tells me what you're going to get. So um, you all are going to get a good score here anyway. So, Alicia, are you ready? Let's go. You need to give a better example to support your argument. You need to give better example to support your argument. Excellent, very good. And the fact that she's writing, that's very good. All right. There are several main subfields within cell biology. There are several main subfields within biology. Fantastic. The library will be closed for three days over the bank holiday weekend. The library will be closed for three days over the weekend. Excellent. Bank. There was a bank holiday somewhere, okay? Don't think that we are stupid, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we remember things. Very good. You must hand in your essays by midday on Friday. You must hand in your essay by midday on Friday. Good, Alicia, one more thing. Once you're writing, it takes more than three seconds for you to speak. So I want you to say, um, don't say English words, just say, uh, uh, so that the microphone doesn't shot, okay? Usually okay. it wouldn't show, you know. So, um, 
or you can start the first word, say um, the, 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 the students, um, okay? Yeah. But if you start a little bit earlier, that's better. But look at the recording as well. Let's go. And the last one. <laughs> the castle was designed to imitate both local people and their enemies. The castle was designed to imitate local people and enemies. Excellent. Very good. Um, Mayuko? Okay. The course registration opens early March. The course registration opens in early March. Very good. Climate change is becoming an acceptable phenomenon amongst a group of reputable scientists. Um, the climate change become acceptable uh, scientists. Excellent. Amongst a group of scientists. Very good. Next. There are hundreds of clubs and societies to choose from. There are hundreds of clubs and social from them. To choose from, very good. Society to choose from. He needs to eat more nutritious food. He needs to more nutrition food. Very good. He needs to eat more nutrition, but still you get 80% of it. Cinema and music are as important as science and mathematics. C uh, cinema and uh, it's important for science and artistic. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Okay, there you go. These are the cinema and music. Yeah, cinema and music. Yeah. Well, as important as yeah. science and mathematics. Mathematics. Very good. I'm, ha I'm happy with uh, how you're doing, okay? Very good. Now, um, we're going to start with describe image. The first one, everyone, you don't need to open it. Cinema and music oh. are as important as science and mathematics. Okay, you don't need to open your microphones. You can just practice in, uh, I mean, just chew gum, okay? This time, chew gum while you're doing the described image. All right. Okay. Now, we'll just start with Mayuko.
The picture describes about the population of Australian states and territories 2006. It also provides some information about New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland, etc. It is clear from the imagine that New South Wales contribute the most. On the other hand, Victoria contribute the least. Finally, by looking at the picture, it can be seen that uh, picture is showing important information based on fact and figures having a significant effect on New South Wales 682, New, uh, Victoria 808. Respectively. Respectively. Very good, very good. Excellent. Um, so you, do you have the template? Uh, yeah, I have, uh, yeah, I have. All right, good. Everyone has the templates? Alicia and Yogita, do you have the templates? Um, yes, I have. I do. Good, good. Okay, next one, Alicia. The image described about greenhouse emission from energy production between France versus Germany. It also provides some information about different categories such as uh, the years of nuclear power expansion and energy wind. Finally, by reviewing the image, it is can be con. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. So I told you when you want to memorize it, okay. Instead of conclusions, write something else. So you can say finally by reviewing the image, it can be uh, assumed, it can be concluded, it can be um, it can be assumed. So whatever you like, okay. It doesn't matter what you say, but you have to memorize it and say in a good uh, next one. So try to memorize it as soon as possible before at least your exam. <laughs> The image describes the difference between waste in quarantine and recycled a year before. And it also provides some information about waste recycled and kilogram per inhabitant. It is clear from the image that the Netherlands contributes the most. And on the other hand, Austria contributes the least. Finally, by looking at the image, it can be seen that the image is showing uh, Denmark, Germany, Sweden, Norway, and Switzerland, respectively. Very good. Fantastic. All right, we start with written lecture. And it's the same <laughs> summarized spoken text, but in summarized spoken text, you need to write, type it. Yeah, you just need to say the topic of the lecture was blah, blah, blah. Let's speak talk about blah, blah, blah. All right. So the first one, everyone, you can have your microphones. Uh, but Yes, sir. The brand is the talent. And let's stick with that. We just did it. Okay. Cities are interesting places. Some cities are carefully planned, built for a reason, and reflect the needs of the people as it grows. Others are less conscientiously designed. Paris, for example, was originally founded in the 3rd century as a small village, and with every passing generation it grew in size and importance. It grew from a medieval city to a modern city, but the transition was not always smooth. 
Emperor Napoleon III had to hire someone to oversee the rebuilding of Paris. The man he chose was Georges Eugene Haussmann. In 1853, Haussmann began the process of renovating France's capital city. His basic instructions were to bring light and air into the central districts, improve the sanitation and living areas, and make Paris a more modern, beautiful city. Not your average weekend renovation. Haussmann's projects included the destruction of old medieval neighborhoods, widening of streets, building large parks and public squares, and addition of fountains and sewer lines. To add to all of this, the size of Paris had to be increased, doubled, actually, and Napoleon III issued official decrees annexing nearby suburbs to make them part of the city. Everyone, please. I thought we got the lecture was about Paris as we talked about how Paris could widen in through the modernization in the past till now. So we also went on and talked about different parts of Paris and All right, we'll start with Mayuko. We often think of technology and invention and research as being somehow more sophisticated a proposition than nature. But actually, when we think about it, there are lots of really useful concepts that technology can take from the natural world. People are beginning to remember that other organisms on Earth are doing things in a very similar way to what we need to do. And they're looking closely at what we can learn from nature. Take the bright screens on our mobile phones. Now, this brightness, this effect that they've managed to achieve there, came partly as a result of research into the iridescence of the wings of butterflies and the anti-reflective coatings that moths have on their eyes. And it doesn't end there. They're looking at what makes a spider's web so strong, how glowworms produce light with almost zero energy. The list goes on. And this area of research is called biomimicry. That's bio, as in biology or life, and mimicry, copying or imitating. It's a very interesting field of study. Direct, uh, the topic of the lecture was technology and invention research. The speaker talked about uh, lots of useful content. The speaker also went and talked about the uh, about uh, fact that we can learn from nature. Finally, the speaker highlighted the following point: uh, research wings, butterfly, spider, how to uh, grow worms, their energy, and biology. Very good, and also mobile phone screen. Okay. Very good, I remember now. Thank you. Good. Next one, Alicia. I suppose more and more people are starting to see graffiti as a form of art. Now, there are still many who would beg to differ, and they'd point to the destructive scribblings that we see on our bus shelters and our public buildings. These often take the form of tags, which are fancy scribble-like versions of someone's name or nickname. Tags generally have no aesthetic appeal, and they are the scourge of the high street shopkeeper in many a town. I can certainly see where the shopkeepers and property owners are coming from. But the fact is, graffiti has been around for a very long time indeed. People left their mark on cave walls back in prehistoric times, and it's been found too on ancient monuments in Egypt and Rome. But New York-style graffiti, which is really the forerunner of a lot of the graffiti that's getting done now, New York graffiti took off in the late 1960s. That's when the advent of the spray can allowed the humble tag to evolve into more complex styles. 
In the mid to late 70s, subway trains became the new forum for graffiti artists to display their skills. For many young people, it became a medium to express their disillusionment with a system from which they felt excluded. Now, of course, the art establishment embraces graffiti artists, and some of these artists have actually taken on cult status. The topic of the lecture was about graffiti. Uh, the, the topic of the lecture was about graffiti. The speaker talked about uh, the bus builders. The speaker also went on and talked about graffiti in village, prehistoric Rome and Egypt in 1960s and spray cans. Finally, the speaker highlighted the following points. New York, graffiti, tag, uh, high street shopkeepers. I know where they come from. You know, anything you didn't mention. Okay, years. So remember, don't give up to... Finally, the speaker highlighted. That means that you haven't memorized the template yet, huh? Have you? No. Okay. Once you... So do you want me to show it to you to take a photo or you're fine? Uh, I already have it. I'm just reading it. Okay, good. Next one. It's your guitar. So today we're going to talk about children's literature and the role it plays in society. Throughout history, adults have used the power of stories to entertain and amuse their children. But stories are not used merely to entertain youngsters. They have a significant educational purpose. They serve to teach the moral values of their society. In sociological terms, stories are one of the means by which children are socialized. How does this work in practice? Well, it often makes use of heroes, the characters in the stories who the children will admire and want to be like. The heroes of children's stories, therefore, exemplify the qualities valued by that society. They will typically demonstrate courage in the face of difficulty, honesty, consideration for others, loyalty to their family and friends, a respect for work and so on. You can see this happening from the fables of ancient societies through fairy tales and folk tales right up to modern day children's stories. For example, the hard working ant in Aesop's fable is shown to succeed in comparison with the grasshopper who spends the summer singing and has nothing to eat when winter comes. Similarly, it is Cinderella, the honest, hard working sister, who wins the prince rather than her cruel, lazy stepsisters. However, there is still usually something to entertain children even in the most morally instructive of stories. The topic of the lecture was children literature. The speaker talked about storytelling, the power stories and amused. The speaker also went on and talked about motivation, educational, and socialization. Finally, the speaker highlighted the following points like society, courage, honesty, loyalty, grasshopper, Cinderella, and the fairy tales in ancient times. And their lazy sisters. The lazy sisters, respectively. <laughs> that good. Excellent. You got most of it. So that's about um, retail lecture. And now we're going to do some answer short questions. We cannot yeah, finish it before time. Sorry. It, it, it's okay. 35 seconds. If you do 30, 35 seconds, you're, you're fine. Okay. Otherwise, okay. just say uh, blah, blah, and then respect. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Next one. Uh, one. Once you're memorized, then you see that it is your ending. You go a little bit slower. So yes. um, finally, by reviewing the image, it can be done that the image is running around. Facts and figures having a significant effect on this, that, and the other. So you can prolong it or you can go very fast and finish it. So it's up to you because it's like a dough in your hand. Okay, answer short questions. All right, the first one, uh, Mayuko. To improve their health and fitness, most people either try to improve their diet or... 
diet. Very good. Choose a word from what you said. Very good. Uh, diet. Anyone else? Exercise, okay? Or go to gym. Exercise or go to gym. Okay, next one. Mayuko. Everyone answers three. What is the natural coloring or form of an animal which enables it to blend in with its surroundings? I don't know. Don't say don't know, say animal. Okay, you have the animal, just say animal. It's camouflage. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> camouflage, yes. Okay, next one. Your third one. Where would you expect to find equipment like microscopes, bounce and burner, beaker and petri dish? Camping. Very good. Also in a lab, okay? <laughs> yeah. Alicia. It's right up your street. Mayuko. Next one, Alicia. In what building would you watch plays and musicals? Theater. Very good. Inhalation of which tobacco substance or activity is dangerous? Alicia? I didn't get it. It is Thank right you. up your street. It is right up your street. <laughs> No, no, I'm joking. It's not right up. Smoking. <laughs> smoking. <laughs> no, it is not. It is not right up. No, nobody's the street here. I know none of you use these sorts of things. Okay. <laughs> One more. What kind of dictionary provides synonyms, antonyms, and related words? Thesaurus. Right, up, right up your street. Sorry. Thesaurus. Very good. I remember you are you answered the same question, right? Yes. Okay, so we'd start with this one. One more. Which one is a renewable form of energy, oil or solar? Sun. Solar. So yeah, I gave you two choices, two choices, oil or solar. Okay, so you just choose one. Um, Yavita? What do we call the grounds and buildings of a school, college, or university? The grounds. Mm -hmm. We had this before. Anyone? Campus. Campus. Yes, next one. What's the name of the book with the list of words and their meanings? Dictionary. Very good. Which subject uses periodical table, math or chemistry? Which one? Maths or <laughs> didn't get actually. Choose just one, yes. Chemistry. Chemistry. Okay, these questions, anyone. Which subject? Anyone who knows the answer. In any particular family, who would be the oldest, the daughter, the mother, or the grandmother? Grandmother. Grandmother. Yes. We had this before, haven't we? Yeah. Jesus. Mm. Let's go home. 
a lack of which kind of weather causes drought. El Nino. Rain. Ah, rain. Oh, rainy. Very good. Yes. El Nino means, uh, yes, it, it brings a lot of water, actually. What is the meeting point of sea and sky called? Oh. Condensation. Horizon. Oh, horizon. horizon. Yeah. Oh. Horizon. What is the meeting point of sea and sky called? Horizon. Which field of study relates to human mind and behavior? Brain. Ah. Psychology. Very good, psychology. psychology. Good. Let's say brain, that's fine. Of course, you don't get a point. What do people cast in an election? What uh, do people cast in an election? Voting. Vote. vote. Very good, vote or vote. I didn't get the question, actually. Yeah. And the last one. What organ do cardiologists specialize in? Heart. Heart. Very good. Heart. Okay. So remember, yesterday I went early. Okay. Today I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna finish the class two minutes early to compensate for that. Okay. okay. I'm gonna compensate this for that by two <laughs> minutes, by leaving two minutes early. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll see you in two weeks time. Okay. Happy holidays, Hello. everyone. Happy holidays. Yes. Have a good holiday. Yes. Have a good one. See ya. Good night. Bye.